Alrighty, so we have Carolyn's announcement, and honestly, it does look amazing. I'm hearing a lot of negativity online, and at first, when I first watched the POV, I was like, wow, that's really slow. And that's a typical coaster enthusiast reaction, and sometimes we have to take a step back and fully digest what we're looking at. Because a lot of the times nowadays, we expect Steel Vengeance to be built at all of our home parks over and over again, and that's simply not going to happen. But that doesn't mean all these new attractions aren't amazing. I'm hearing lots of people hating on Yukon Striker, lots of people hating on this, and lots of people just hating on coasters in general that are being built because they're not these massive 400 feet tall, 8,000 inversion coasters. So let's take a step back and let's fully digest this. So this is a seven acre expansion coming to Carowinds in 2019. That's impressive. There's gonna be more food, upgraded to restaurants, theming, seating, and um, a great coaster to complete it. Um, and I have a feeling this is just part one of an expansion. If this is anything like Canada's Wonderland, there's more to come down the years, down the road, um, to complement this new addition. So this is themed to Granny Bird's Farm, and it seems like she went from making jam to making alcoholic beverages, moonshine in particular. Um, I think that's that whole elixir teasers that we saw at Cedar Point. And you get caught and you have to escape Granny Bird. Great storyline, fantastic, love it. Um, the coaster colors, absolutely love this color scheme. It looks fantastic, it's very rustic. I love the theming around it. I am so impressed with, it, with its theming. And um, I, I don't think we could have asked for more in terms of color scheme and theming blended together. In fact, the whole color scheme and theming mixed together is better than Yukon Striker. I love it. Um, and I wish that we had this whole copper black support type look. Um, but uh, on to another thing, uh, the JoJo roll out of the station. Yes. Um, so for those of us calling it a family coaster, you are not going to have a JoJo roll out of the station on a family coaster. Yeah, the speed on the first launch, 42 miles per hour, not so fast. Um, not as fast as what a lot of people were hoping for. But guess what? It's going to create a lot of hang time on Copperhead Strike. And hang time sometimes is a fabulous uh, like element or experience to have on a coaster. And a lot of people kind of underestimate coasters. I remember Icon when it was built in the POV and, every, and everyone was like, uh, or they saw it testing rather. Uh, and people were like, oh, that looks horrible. But then we started getting reviews out of the UK about how amazing it is. And I think this is gonna be an exact replica of that case. I think, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, this looks like it's gonna stall. Uh, blah, 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 you know, typical coaster enthusiasts, which is fine. A lot of people have, you know, favorite coasters that they love and hating on a coaster is totally fine. But understand that a lot of people are actually going to love this attraction for what it's offering. So you're going to get a lot of hang time by the looks of it. You get five inversions on a multi-launch. Mac is back in the um, Americas, so back in North America. And uh, the second launch is 50 miles per hour as well. And I mean, this thing definitely uses its space, utilizes it beautifully. Um, again, I definitely give this a five out of five for, you know, an addition for Carowinds. This is exactly what they needed. Um, and uh, frankly, I would love this at my home park as well. Comment down below what you guys think. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for more uh, coming in the coming days. Have a good one, guys. Bye.